Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan in ASP.NET how to merge grid view columns. So for this example, I am merging student first name and last name into one column. And here we got the final output and notice the student first name and last name are merged into one column. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice in this browser, I have already binded a table from database in this grid view control. And this is a data table and this table contains five columns. One is a student ID, student first name, student last name, gender and email. Sometimes we get a situation that we need to merge columns. So for this example, I am merging student first name and last name into one column. Let's open the coding part. And this is the code we have just seen the output on the browser. First in this grid view control, I am adding one bounded field. ASP bound field. Data field is equals to, I am creating one dummy data field which is the first name and last name. Header text is equals to student first name last name I'm closing this bounded field after adding the bound field in the grid view control you see in the data source the select command now in the select statement I'm adding the column names first column is the student ID this one and the second column I'm merging the student first name and the last name so comma student F name plus single quotes I'm giving some space between the first name and last name plus student L name this data field student last name as I'm adding this data field name F name and last name L name copy this one and paste here comma the next column I'm adding student gender comma and the last one student email I'm not adding the student F name and student L name in this select statement so I'm commenting these two data fields that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the output Google Chrome and here we got the final output and notice the student first name and last name are merged into one column that's it